right, guys, we are back, and it is time for probably the most controversial Stanley Cup we have ever, I've ever done right now. It's going to be the Philadelphia Flyers going up against the Columbus Blue Jackets in the Stanley Cup Finals. Campbell versus Bernier, baby. Better. I don't know if you could ask for a better storyline, man. We traded Bernier to, and actually Murray versus Ryan Murray versus his uh, former team too. So. At the trade deadline, we traded away Jonathan Bernier. Uh, I think Brandon Manning still might be hurt, too, because uh, we traded him to Columbus as well and uh, a first-round pick to Columbus to get Ryan Murray back. So this is going to be a very controversial uh, Stanley Cup. Uh, it's We could ask for more, but in the last series, we went to six games with the Florida Panthers. I mean, nobody's perfect, but Jonathan Bernier is still pretty close to perfect. Uh, our offense just didn't pick up for him those two games when we went to Florida, but he bounced back fairly well. I mean, he's still leading the league in save percentage with a uh, .963 uh, save percentage, and uh, goals against average is still under one. So he's still doing absolutely amazing right now. But we got the Columbus Blue Jackets in the Stanley Cup Finals. So this is, it's all going to come down to this, guys. So let's take a look at what the Columbus Blue Jackets have. Actually, let's go to injuries. Where's the injury thing at? I think it's in GM options. Let's look at injury report, and let's see who Columbus has hurt right now because we're injury-free. Yep, so Brandon Manning is out with a pulled groin, so he's going to be back on May 28th. And Carlson, that looks like Eric Carlson's brother, actually. Yeah, that, that looks like it. I could tell in the face. He's out with a broken leg. Okay, so he won't be coming back anytime soon. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, May 28th. Okay, so Brandon Manning is probably back for game one already. Okay, so let's simulate up a day. Okay, Melker Carlson. Yeah, that's who it is. It's right up there. Okay, uh, so let's view these lines. Let's check out what the Columbus Blue Jackets are, see how they got this far. All right, and Columbus. Okay, so first line, they got R.J. Umberger. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of former Flyers on this team as well, too. They got R.J. Umberger, Derek Broussard, and uh, Rasmussen. Uh, Rasmussen, Rasmussen, I don't know. Uh, Ar Umberger and Broussard, yeah, I guess they're pretty good first liners there. Rasmussen, yeah, maybe more of a third or third liner, but still, if it got them this far, so be it. Whatever. It's they they've had pretty much average guys all around. Second line: Nick Foligno, uh, Artem Anisimov, and uh, Elo, 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 Elo. Uh, two eighty fours again. I would rather have seen Nick Foligno or uh, Anisimov in the, on the first line rather than uh, Rasmussen, but still, whatever. Third line: uh, Milman, Rene Bork, Rene Bork, or that might be that's probably a different Bork, Baroque. Oh, uh, that's Baroque. Sorry, wrong one. And then uh, Kubalik. And it's an average third line, I guess, kind of lacking. And then on the fourth line, Santarelli, Gillies, and Derek Dorsett. So, uh, it's it, Columbus is like one of those teams where there's a bunch of guys where their overalls can kind of fool you. Like, I, I know some of these guys are actually really good. Like, Anisimov's actually pretty good. Broussard's pretty good. Felino, I know, is a very good uh, defensive-minded player. Uh, but their third and fourth lines really aren't that uh, threatening to us. So if we take a look at their defense, uh, yeah, good defense still. If they had Ryan Murray on there, that probably would be even be a more deadly defense. But we took that one away from them. So they have Jay Bomeister and James Wisniewski. So that's a still pretty good top two. Then second, they got Jack Johnson, Brandon Manning, and then Fred, uh, Feder Tutin and I think Jamie Moore, if I'm not mistaken, or John Moore, whatever, but still Moore. So they got a good defense. A uh, couple... Good players on offense, really just four with uh, Umberger, Broussard, Felino, and Anisimov. But they have a good defense, and then they have these. They have very good goalies. They have three good goalies which they can use. They have Jonathan Bernier, as you guys can see. They have Steve Mason, and they also have uh, Sergei Bobrovsky in the wings if need be. So it's going to be Campbell versus Bernier. We have the better offense, so we should definitely be able to score on these guys. If Bernier let all those damn goals in at the beginning of the year, we should be able to bring back his old ghost. We should be able to bring back Jonathan Bernier's old ghost and score as many goals on this guy as possible. So here we go. Let's just get this started. We are not, we do not have home ice advantage because I think Columbus did score more points than us in the, uh, in the regular season. So that's probably why they have 
even though they're the fourth seed and we're the first seed, they probably have more points. So still, they have home ice advantage. But it doesn't matter. Campbell is still doing good. Offense is still doing pretty good. We're scoring a good amount of goals each game. So let's let's just get it done. Campbell versus Bernier. Ryan Murray versus Columbus. Brandon Manning versus Philly. And then uh, everything, man. This is a crazy series. Let's get it rolling. Here we go. Game one in Columbus. Here we go. Let's get it off right, guys. Start it off the way we always do. So here we go. First period. Oh, Jesus. We may have a problem. Derek Dorsett, Nick Foligno, and RJ Umberger started out the scoring with three goals past Campbell. They only took seven shots on that and then three of them in. Okay. All right. Pick it back together, guys. Pick it up. Pick it up. Forget about this first period. Come back strong in the second. So here we go. Second period. Okay, we got one. Claude Giroux gets a power play goal past Jonathan Bernier. Oh my God. I'll go. All right, so we're only down by two. We can come back. So here we go. Time six. Come on, guys. We need an early one before the 10-minute mark here. We need an early one. Oh, my God. Kubelik. They put Holtby in. The coach put, the coach put Holtby in. I don't know why. And it looks like Columbus is going to steal game one. God fucking damn it, Bernier. Stupid ass, man. Ugh, okay. Wipe the game out. We know we're going to have a tough test, a tough game, tough games ahead of us. We know we're going to have tough games ahead of us. So wipe that game out. Wipe that game out of your heads, guys. We know we're, te we're dealing with a tough team here. We're dealing with a tough team and apparently a good goalie. Morrow's day to day, but he's still fine to play. So we know we have to deal with a tough team here. We know we have to deal with them. So offense, come out and play. We can't sell for one goal against one of these guys. we got to solve Bernier back there. So keep it together, guys. Wipe that game out. Campbell, don't worry about it. Wipe that game out of your head. Let's keep it going, guys. Here we go. Game two in Columbus. Let's sp split this series. So here we go. Here we go. First period, 2-1. to one. There we go. They get one, but we get two. So Jamie McBain finally gets a goal in this series. And Ryan O'Reilly. Rasmussen gets one past the... Uh, Campbell, but we got two past Bernie here in the first. So here we go. Keep getting more goals passed on these guys. Come on. Second period. Okay, two to one. They didn't score. We didn't score. That's fine. Got a two to one lead. We need some more support here in this third period to help out Jack Campbell, man. So here we go. Time six. Come on, guys. Get some more support for Jack Campbell, man. Get some more score. Uh, power play. Good penalty kill there, guys. Come on. Keep it up, man. Don't let up anything late. Do not let up anything late. And there we go. There we go. Empty netter from Eric Wellwood. 59 seconds left in the game. And we take a 3-1 to one, uh, game two win over the Columbus Blue Jackets. So Bernier comes in, steals one game. Campbell answers back and steals a game of his own. So Eric Wellwood had a three-point night. So good for him. Ryan O'Reilly had a good game as well. So the third line guys probably stole the game. For us there, so good game, very good game for us there. So they came out four to one. We come back three to one. So you guys could score four goals. We can come back screen three and limit you guys to one. So we're going back home. Series tied one to one. So very good. Uh, Gordon Peckham is available to play in the team's next game. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to do some roster moves because they had we had Braden Holpe in the net. As a backup, and they probably scored a goal on him. That's probably why. I'm going to do goalies. I'm going to send Holtby back down to the minors. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to send Gordon Peckham up. Holtby, you can go back down to the minors. I want Gordon Peckham playing behind. Uh, I want Gordon Peckham playing behind Jack Campbell, just in case. That's, that's just in case. Never know what may happen. Kid was our number one overall pick. I want him playing behind him just in case. Because Gordon Peckham had a good year as well. So maybe he could uh, hold down the fort if things get out of hand. Or if uh, if uh, Campbell gets hurt, then uh, Gordon Peckham is probably going to have to be in the back anyway. So one to one tie, going back home to Philly. We've been pretty good at home so far this series. I don't think we've lost the game at home. So here we go, guys. Philly fans are cheering up. We're booing the former guys. We're booing Brandon Manning, booing Bernier. They're probably going to be Bernier. Bernier, hope he's hearing that a bunch in this series. So here we go. Game three at home in Philly. So here we go, guys. Continue off with that good game two win. So here we go. Get off to a good start. First period, two to one. There we go. They get one again, but we get two. Jacob Voracek and Tyler Ennis get two. Pa okay, so they have Steve Mason in that again after Bernier didn't get anything good there. But Nick Foligno got one past uh, Campbell there. So they got, once again, two to one, two to one lead. They only have six shots on that, and then just lets them win the goal. That's fine. Don't worry about it, Campbell. So here we go, guys. Get off to another good uh, second period. Second period. 
Ah, man, we get one, but they get two. Okay, Felino again, and uh, Artem Anisimov go on, on a power play. Petrovic uh, gets one as well. So we got a 3-3 three three tie going into the third period, man. So here we go, offense. Step it up here in this third period. Step it up in this third period, guys. So here we go. Step it up. Step it up for your goalie. Step it up. Power play. Ah, can't capitalize on those power plays, man. Uh, penalty kill. Good power, uh, power play. Power play. Come on. Oh, my God. Uh, we're going into overtime. Going into overtime. Come on, guys. There we go. Ryan O'Reilly in overtime. Gets one past Steve Mason. And we take a 2-1 to one series lead after a 4-3 to three win. 43 shots on net. Dear God. Oh, man. And it was a deflection goal, too. Very good for Ryan O'Reilly. Alex uh, Petrovic had two points in that game. Felino tried to keep Columbus in it. But Jack Campbell just held down the fort. Held down the fort, and that's fine. Uh, Wayne Simmons is day-to-day. -day. That's fine. That's fine. He can still play. Still play. Okay, so we managed to get a, a good win out of that game. So take a 2-1 to one series lead coming back. Well, we're still in Philly. But we have a 2-1 to one series lead. Let's make it 3-1 to one going back into Columbus, man. Keep playing good, guys. Our offense is doing good, but we need to – Get get a good stretch of uh, goals. We need to. These games have been pretty close. Like this one. Well, that one was out of hand. But this one was two to one before the third. This one was three three to three going into the third. Let's get a good lead going into the third period, guys. So here we go. Start out strong and then just hold it down, guys. Here we go. First period in game four. One to nothing. There we go. Power play goal for Ryan Murray and they have Bernier back in the net. Okay. So there we go, one nothing lead after one. Keep it going, guys, here in the second. Second period, two to nothing. There we go, Braden Shen. He's starting to come alive now. So we got a two to nothing, two to nothing lead going into the third period. That's what I wanted. I wanted the lead going into the third, and that's what I want. Hold it down, guys. Just hold it down for your goalie. Jack Campbell, just keep playing good. Defense, keep playing good. Keep playing good. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes to go. Power play. Long power play. We don't need it. Uh, Nisimov scores on a minute nine left. There, and that's fine. That's fine. Just a little bit of a scare there at the end. But Jack Campbell holds down the fort for another two to one win. Two to one win. Man, th these games are close, and we're just getting tons of shots on the net. Tons and tons of shots. But there we go. Another close game. But Jack Campbell still holds it down, man. Jonathan Bernier played good, but he's just not. He just can't. Stop all this Flyers onslaught, man. Steve Mason, they're going back and forth between Steve Mason and uh, Jonathan Bernier, but we have a 3-1 to one series lead going back home, to, going back to Columbus. So Stanley Cup is in the building, guys. Jack Campbell, you've earned this, man. You win this, you win probably everything. You win the Vesna, you win the, uh, the MVP for the playoffs, everything. Give this guy as much hardware as possible. So this is it, guys. End this series right now. I do not. I, as much as I want to win at home, end it here. End it here. There's probably a bunch of Philadelphia fans who made the trip out to Columbus for this game. End it here. End it here. Let's go. Just end this out and win our third Stanley Cup in five years. So here we go. Game five in Columbus. Stanley Cup is in the building. Just own it, guys. Own it. Keep playing the way you're playing. So here we go. First period. Okay, two to one. They get off to a two to one lead. Rasmussen and Ello. Just don't know who these guys are, but Ryan O'Reilly gets one back, so it's a two to one lead for Columbus after one. All right, come back, guys. Come out and have a strong second period. So here we go. Second period. Okay, they didn't score, but we didn't score. All right, one goal lead they have going into the third, guys. All right, we need an early one here in the third period, guys. Early one here in the third period. Come on, tack one up early. Tack one up early. Oh, my God. Somebody tack one up early. All right. Somebody score one late. Score one late. Ah, it's over. Ello. Who are these kids who are just scoring on us? Uh, well, a minute 55 for Galchenyuk. Eh, a little bit too late. They take a 3-2 to two win there. So it looks like we're going to six. Jonathan Bernier comes back and steals another game. Like I said, man, this is just going to be the toughest series we had to play in. Eero Ello. That is the most retarded name I've ever seen. And he gets two goals. Eh, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Uh, that we have to worry about. Duncan Simon's been injured with a fractured ankle. He's he's done. Okay, we have to go to roster moves. Lekkinen. Lekkinen. Call him back on, you kid. You're coming back. Lekkinen, get up here. Okay, Lekkinen. Uh, 
Yeah, Duncan Simons was on the fourth line, so that's fine. Lekin then come back in here. And uh, he was on the penalty kill. So who do we have to throw in there now? Petrovic, Petrovic. Petrovic goes on the penalty kill now. Petrovic, get in there. Petrovic, get in there. That's it, right? And Lekin in. And that's it. Okay. All right, so we just didn't have any good third period comeback there. Uh, okay, the scout's done. That's fine. Let's check out the OHL guys. Uh, There's a couple firsts here. WHL, I think that's... No, we were just in WHL. We went in the OHL at the QMJHL. Yeah, they're top fives. Anybody else we really need to scout? Uh, the Dell, he did top ten. Uh, everybody else pretty much has just been established. So you know what? Let's just go into the uh WHL and just do for another another uh do it for a month just to get some more uh information on these guys for our draft. But okay. But they got we have a three to two lead. We're going back home. Going back home. And uh that's all I can say. We're going back home in a three to two lead. Columbus is riding some momentum on that one. They had a good win. They had a good win there at home but <clears throat> this game, this series needs to end here and now, guys. Come on. We need to end this here. Offense, just come out and play. I don't know who they have in the net. I can't tell you, but whoever it is, just keep scoring. We need to score goals on these guys. We need to get out to a very early lead and a big lead. That's all I can say. So here we go. Game six, back home at the Wells Fargo Center. Stanley Cup is still, once again, just in the building. It doesn't have to make a far travel from uh, Ohio to Philly, but... It's in the building. Let's end it, guys. Let's end this. Do not go to Game 7. Do not go to Game 7. So here we go. End it here, guys. Offense, explode. I want offensive explosion, man. Here we go. First period. Ugh, I can't. Well, there's an offensive explosion, all right, on both sides. Umberger, Santorelli, and Bork broke. Score on Campbell, but Ennis and Skinner keep it close. Bernier in the net again, 3-2. After one, so both teams are exploding for offense, man. All right, we need to have a big period, guys. Big seconds. Here we go. Second period. Three to two. Nope. It's deja vu, man. All right, guys, come on. Come on, man. Step it up for your goalie. Step it up for your goalie. Campbell's been playing amazing these playoffs. Offense, we just need to come up in here and play. Here we go. Third period. Get something early. Power play. Oh, my God. Can't capitalize on it. Somebody step it up here. Ten minutes to go. There we go. Claude Giroux, Captain Giroux, scoring one there with eight minutes left to go. Penalty kill, good penalty kill there. Going to overtime, guys. Come on. Ended in overtime again. Ended in overtime again. Oh, my God. Millman, the milkman. No, it's not. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Tyler Ennis. Oh, my God. We're going to game seven. We are going to game seven. We are going to game seven. More fitting, right? It's only fitting. It's only fitting that we go to game seven, man. It's only fitting for game seven. All right. I need to have a talk with my team. I need to have a talk with my team. Guys, biggest test yet. I want you to freaking shoot every single time you get the puck. I want you to shoot a goal on Jonathan Bernier. Remember the beginning of the season when the guy had a goals against average above three? Yeah, I want that to happen. I want you to guys to score as many goals on Jonathan Bernier as humanly possible. I don't care that they've been scoring a lot of goals as well. Defense, you need to step your game up here in this ga in game seven. So step it up. Offense, come up here and play. Campbell, you're you're not doing anything wrong. You've just been playing amazing these playoffs. You're coming up against a tough team, I know, but you just gotta hold it down here in game seven. And offense, give your goalie some support. So here we go, Game 7 in Columbus, Stanley Cup for the winner of this game. It's only fitting that it goes to Game 7, guys. So here we go, all for the marbles. We're going to do Time 6 simulation for each period. Here we go, guys. Game game 7 in Columbus, so here we go. Time 6 simulation, so here we go. Come up to our first period. There we go, good first there. They have Steve Mason in the net. There we go, guys, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Shea Theodore and Alex Galchenyuk on a power play. Good good first period, guys. Come on. Get out of there first. All right. Uh, how do I stop? Okay. Pause the simulation. Okay. So there we go. Good first period, guys. Two to nothing lead after one. So here we go, guys. Come out, come out scoring again in the second period. So here we go. 
Come out scoring here in the second period. Don't let give them anything. Power play. Okay, I can't capitalize on it. That's fine. That's fine. Get out. Get out after the second without giving up anything. Get out after the second. There we go. There we go. Okay. Two to nothing lead after two periods. The routine is in place for Jack Campbell. Not many shots have been taken on net this game. So here we go. We got a two to nothing lead. That's it. We don't need anything. Just play defense and get the puck out of our zone. Get it into their zone. Kill off as much time as possible, guys. So here we go. Game uh, time six simulation. Third period, guys. Come on now. Come on. T uh, penalty kill. Good penalty kill there. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes to go, guys. Ten minutes to go. Campbell. He frickin'. Uh, 32 seconds left. Don't want to jinx it just yet. Three to nothing. Three to one. Empty diver for Joseph Morrow. And there it is. Philadelphia Flyers have once again captured the Stanley Cup third time in five years. Oh, my God. 32 seconds left. Are you kidding me, Campbell? Way to give your freaking coach and owner a heart attack. Dear Lord. Bomeister scored with 32 seconds left. They probably pulled their goalie. That's why. But Joseph Morrow caps it off with an empty netter. And the Philadelphia Flyers escaped a game seven with the Columbus Blue Jackets. And Jonathan Bernier, even though they had Steve Mason in net on the uh, – for game seven, still, we come away with a win, and we come away with the Stan Lee Cup, man. Jack Campbell, give this kid the Vesna, man. He deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it, man. Philadelphia defeats Columbus in seven games to win the Stan Lee Cup, man. We freaking did it. Outstanding job this year. Bringing home the Stanley Cup is something every owner dreams about. I knew you could do it. On behalf of the Philadelphia Flyers organization, thanks for all your hard work. You are freaking welcome. So, let's take a look at the stats here for the uh, finals here. Player stats for the playoffs. See how everybody ended up. See if, uh, <clears throat> see what happens here. Let's take a look at uh, everybody. Uh, no, not Phoenix forwards. Let's take a look at it. So Claude Giroux and Tyler Ennis, man. These two just led this team throughout the playoffs. 23 points in 21 games for Claude Giroux. 21 points in 21 games for Tyler Ennis. Nine goals apiece. 14 assists for Giroux. 12 for Ennis. Very good series. for the Very good playoffs for both of these guys. So I don't know. We may have to keep Tyler Ennis over uh, Jacob Vorchuk. I think he might have to be the guy that goes. I mean, six points in 18 games. I just don't see how that's worth it. I, I see Tyler Ennis is a guy who we have to keep over Jacob Voracek. It's just to what what I have to see. Uh, Alex Galchenyuk, not bad. 17 points in 21 games, not bad. Only four goals, but a lot of assists. Wayne Simmons with 11. Ryan O'Reilly Ryan O'Reilly stepped his game up there in the uh, Stanley Cup Finals and near the half end of these uh, playoffs, so he stepped his game up. Especially in the Stanley Cup Finals, he stepped his game up a lot. Uh, so him and Eric Wellwood both had 10. Uh, Skinner had 7. Voracek at 6. Well, Skinner didn't have that much better of a playoffs as well. But still, I think it's uh, more fitting to keep Skinner since he's still younger than Voracek over uh, – over, over, um, keep Skinner and Ennis over Voracek. But still, Anton Rowan had 5. Uh, Shen had 5. Couturier had 5. Hart had 5. And then Zim, Najad, and Wheel just played those couple games there. So let's take a look at the defense. Uh, let's check out the uh, plus players. Uh, just Braden Chen was a negative. That's it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Everybody else did a pretty good job. Pretty good job there for the uh, – oh, that was center. So, oops, I wanted to look at forwards. Yeah, just Voracek. Yeah, Voracek was even a minus player. So Voracek and Chen were the only minus players in the playoffs. Everybody else was very positive. So very good there. Uh, let's go back a little bit. Go to defensemen, see how these guys did. Okay, nobody spectacular on defense did anything miraculous, but still, defense uh, kept it going. They helped out Campbell for the first 10 games of, this, 10 games of the playoffs. Get good. So Murray ends with 9, Morrow with 8, McMain with 6, Petrovic with 5, Shea Theodore with 4, Lekkonen had 3, and Duncan Simons had 2. And everybody on defense was a plus player. Ryan Murray was tacked out of even. And this guy, man, you deserve it. Even though your goals against average is a little bit high, 1.43 still is an amazing goals against average to have in the playoffs. Going 16-4-1 and one in the playoffs, a save percentage of 94.68, five shutouts. You deserved it, man. You deserved it, kid. You did, you did an amazing job in these playoffs this year. I'm glad I, glad I decided to stick with you. You deserved it, man. All right, so why don't we go up a little bit? We simulate up a little bit. Actually, hold up. Playoff tree playoff tree and there it goes i just wanted to do that just like to see the picture let's simulate up a little bit till we get the um the message 
that shows us that uh, we won the cup, and then we'll take a look at the awards to end the video. Ooh, I don't want to go past the draft. Uh, we'll go up to the 13th. We'll just go up till they uh, show us the awards. Oh, wow, the draft draft comes up pretty quickly, eh? It's not that many, many weeks. I didn't think it was that short, but... Very good play, very good playoffs, guys. That was, that was probably one of the best playoffs that we had had this year. Stanley Cup, I mean, you had to go to Game 7, guys. I mean, it was only fitting. Okay, so the Stanley Cup champion, your Philadelphia Flyers, the Calder Cup went to the uh, Peoria Riverman. I don't even know. I don't even know Peoria had a team. <laughs> go figure. All right, stop this. Stop the simulation. Stop the simulation. Please. Thank you. Stop. 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 We'll take a look at our uh, contracts after after uh, we take a look at the awards, and we'll do that next video. We'll have a whole video, obviously, dedicated to the draft. Okay, here's the retirement. Yeah, I guess we might as well do this, too. Uh, let's see. Anybody uh, of importance? Brendan Morrow, McGinley Ryder, Stewart. Uh, anybody on Florida? Let's see. Eric Cole retired. Uh, anybody on Philly? Uh, Derek McKenzie. Okay, that's fine. So we don't have to release him anyway. And anybody else? Nope. Uh, take a look at the goalies. Kiprasov and Marty Biron are out of here. Uh, Basco Hula retired. Huh? Okay, so let's take a look at the awards right now, and we'll end this video. <clears throat> so there we go. The Stanley Cup champions. Your Philadelphia Flyers, the third time in five years. So the Calgary Flames won it in a. Uh, 15, 16, I think the Islanders won it in uh, 2012, 2013, so that was very good for them, but still, three out of the past four years, we won the Stanley Cup, so very good for us. Uh, the President's Trophy went to the Los Angeles Kings, yep, they had the most points, Clarence S. Campbell went to Columbus, Prince of Wales went to us, Art Ross went to Hunter Shinkirk for the third year in a row, okay, we might have to keep that in mind. Hart Memorial, Hunter Shinkrook, most valuable to his team. Uh, James Norris went to Drew Dowdy, the defenseman, greatest all-around ability. Uh, Lady Bing went to Hunter Shinkrook. Yep. Calder Memorial, Michael Granlund. Con Smythe, there it is. Jack Campbell won the Con Smythe Award. No doubt in my mind that he should have got that. No doubt. He played amazing this year. He should. He deserves it. The Vesna. The goal judge, I don't believe that. Oh, well, that's only for the regular season. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's for the uh, regular season. I'm sorry. But, yeah, Jack Campbell definitely should have got the cons. Mike, no doubt in my mind. The Vesna. William and Jennings went to Jonathan Quick. Uh, Bill Master. Tim went to Keegan Low. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Frank J. Selke went to Ryan Kessler. Ted Lindsay went to Mika Kiprasov. Uh, I don't know if I'd agree with that, but uh, Maurice Richard, Hunter Shinkarok. Okay. Well, Campbell only walks away with the uh, the Conn Smythe, which, which definitely uh, he deserved. No doubt in my mind that he deserved the Conn Smythe for playing amazing like that. But still, very good season for Jack Campbell. Very good, well, very good playoffs for these guys. So we won our Stanley, we won the Stanley Cup for the third, third time in this uh, GM out of five years already. So. That's pretty good. I say we should try to win it at least three more times before we end this uh, ten-year GM mode. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah. So next video, guys, we'll take a look at the contract situation. We'll look and see how good the players developed. We'll go into the draft. We'll draft the players, and then because uh, guys like to know, I like to uh, pick every single round. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. And then we'll go into the resign phase. So, guy, well, we'll we'll take a look at it. Uh, you guys can give me your suggestions of who we should trade. Well, actually, you know what? I, it it would kind of make sense that I simulate up a little bit to till the day after the prospects game and show. Well, we'll do this. You now, what we'll make a we'll make a separate video out of this. We'll make it a, a mini video before we go into the draft. Before yeah, before we go into the draft. Actually, you know what? We'll make the dra Here's what we'll do. Next video, I'll show you guys the contracts and uh, show you who got who uh, got good in their overall and who got worse. And then we'll go into the and you guys can actually know that wouldn't make sense. Okay. Next video, we'll just show you guys how, what the contract situation is like and who got good and who got worse. And then you guys can give me your suggestions who who we can trade, 
who we should trade. Remember, it's got to be between Tyler Ennis, Jacob Voracek, and Jeff Skinner on who we trade at the draft to maybe uh, get another good player near the end so we can free up some salary caps so we can sign everybody that we want to sign. And, uh, yeah, and then you guys can leave your suggestions in there. Then we'll go through the draft. Then we'll do the re-sign phase, and then we'll get ready for year six. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, your 2016-2017 Stanley Cup champion, Philadelphia Flyers, baby. Woohoo!